Good morning, Donna and Gabriella. I am at the Turtle Rock property this morning, and I'm in the unit. I just wanted to take uh, a quick look. It is an end unit, um, and you can see this is kind of the this is kind of the right side. And if you look here, it would be a little bit more clear. That wall right there is one of two individual patios, and you kind of have a nice court walkthrough area but let me turn back here um, here's my car here's this parking space area you can kind of get an idea there's mountain views up there um, uh, you come in this way this goes back to 9th Street and then you have 7th Street over here um, this way but you can see the unit is right here it's 743 nice tiny little unit great landscaping in this whole place I mean there's landscapers out this morning very well main kept um, you got a little exit gate here let me just come around here this is again one of two patios you have a French door out from your living room area and then a sliding glass out from your uh, master bedroom I guess the only bedroom it's one bedroom uh, but nice security screen door, nice solid door, wood door here. Um, this is the main living area here. And I measured it out. It's 15 by 10 width, so going this way, and 13 by 7 um, going this way into the dining room area. I did not count this dining room area space. But a nice little kitchen. Um, you know, ceramic tiled, but it has all the essentials as far as dishwasher, see it's got a disposal, disposal uh, window here, uh, fridge, electric range, micro. Um, you know, they're not in you know, most pristine condition, but they're not also in bad condition. I don't know if they work. The fridge is unplugged here. Uh, so it may be something that you want to invest in, a decent set, and, and you know, we can get a, a fairly decent set for about $1,200, all stainless, uh, not inclusive of the fridge. But, um, you know, it, it's clean. These are older cabinets. They've been painted. So, and they don't look bad. I mean, that you could do a couple of things. You could certainly replace or, or just, you know, repaint or clean them up. They're not too bad. Um, put knobs on them and really class it up quite a bit. The overall unit itself is is very very clean. You know it's basic white paint. It's you know the blinds need some help. Um, it's bright though. It's it, there's a lot of light in here. It's very very bright. The fixtures aren't bad. You can see they have uh, decent stainless fans in that. The the ceilings in this particular room are vaulted right here so it gives a nice high appearance and they're probably 10 12 13 feet right there um, this is the second of two little patios this is the one i kind of pointed out to you um, from the exterior when i was walking in you can kind of see that's that courtyard gateway area there but let me walk through there's a nice little pendant light here let me walk through this is back towards the front um, let me walk through this area here. There's a small, if you want to call it a pantry. Um, so I don't believe there's a linen. So you have a stackable washer dryer and this is where your hot water tank is. And, um, that is electric as well. Let me go over here. The floor is, it looks to be a laminate, it's not a true wood. Um, it looks in decent conditions, I mean there's a couple little scuffs like right here. But overall, I mean, definitely not bad. I mean, typical normal wear and tear where furniture has scraped or scratched or um, done those, but by no stretch is it new. This is the master bedroom. Um, and you can kind of see there's a little bit of floor damage here from probably a, a bed frame, you know, scraping along the floor um, or then dragging something uh, across it to chip that laminate. 
this is, I don't think this is white. This is a little like a sagest gray color. Um, this particular room is 12 by 7 and 10 by 10. So it's a decent size master bedroom for this size condo. I think we're just under 700 square foot and it does have a nice decent size walk-in closet. Step back there a little bit. Um, the closet's actually fairly large. It's, uh, you know, I'll guess that it looks to be about five by four, roughly. Um, and this is the slider. Maybe I didn't have that one open. But this is the slider. I'll walk out there in a second. Oh, yeah, I think there. Um, out to the, the larger patio and opened up. This is, you know, a really nice unit. Like I said, nice and bright this time of year. You know, I imagine these sliders are gonna be open all the time. Put nice tables out there and nice chairs, great sitting areas. You just walk out here. So this is the larger of the two patios. You know, I can see a, a nice table out here. There's a small little storage closet up here with some shelving. That shelving needs a little help. Um, and then you have your walk out and we're back out front again. So I can't see, you know, this closet. I can see storing smaller items, maybe golf clubs. Um, Donna, I know you're a biker, so maybe you can install a hook and get rid of these shelves and hang a bike in there if, if you wanted. Um, that's a possibility. But it's not too deep, and, and like I said, those shelves kind of take away from um, anything large in there. But uh, let me walk back in. You know, the, the, the things that I see, you know, there's some normal wear and tear in here. I, it probably needs paint. Um, the flooring, I think, is okay. There's a small hint of smoke, but not a, a prominent smell of smoke. And, and, and that's why I say maybe a nice paint job would do well because it'll mask that. Um, or even getting an ozone machine in here um, to take out some of that smell. There's probably in the air ducts and that, so a good cleaning would, would do the unit well. And I'm pretty sensitive the smoke is not too overpowering. Um, this is a Corian countertop in the bathroom. You know, pretty standard tub shower in here as well. So that's it for now. I'm going to send this out your way. And uh, if you guys have any questions or you want to make an offer on it, I mean, the community itself is great. Like I said, I mean, there are probably, I probably saw a dozen people walking dogs and, and just walking around the community this morning um, as I was coming in and I met the lady next door. She's real nice. Um, this is the common wall, um, which shares on your exterior porches and your master wall. But um, it was a nice, I don't know, maybe 70, 80 year old woman that lives next door. So. Um, let me know if you have any questions and like I said, I will um, You know if you wanted to write something up and we can kind of take care of it from there or um, Kind of just sit on this one and, and wait to see what happens when you get back in town. So talk to you guys soon. Thanks